Hi guys, Go vs. Dumb here. I'm going to talk to you today about setting up the Stream Elements chatbot. Basically what we're going to talk about is going to be the chat commands and the user management features of the site, but also there's going to be additional videos on the loyalty system, the timers, the spam filters, and the modules. So make sure you check out the links for those down below. Let's start by going over to the site. This will drop me over on the Stream Elements dashboard. So for me, I already have the bot in my channel. So that's why it doesn't have a join option here. If you already did the Stream Elements pre-flight checklist, it should already be joined in your channel, but if not, there would be a join button here instead that you would want to click so that we can continue forward. Now let's next go to this tab down here for the bot. Let's start with chat commands. This is going to drop me on my custom commands page, but what we want to do first is look over some of the default commands that Stream Elements has. Right here is some of the commands that are available for everyone. Everyone includes everyone that uses your channel, but primarily it starts with the new user, the subscriber, and the regular, and everybody above that. So some of the commands that you might want to be aware of for this part is the followage command. The followage command will show you how long each user has been following if they do it in the chat. There's also the points command. The points command will show people their individual loyalty points for your channel. There's also the tip command and the uptime ones, which are really ones that you might want to look at as well. Uh, there's also specific categories for moderators and super moderators, which we'll discuss in a little bit what those guys do. But basically, the moderators are able to also add and remove and edit commands. That's a really good one you want them to know about, as well as permitting, which would, not, which would allow users to not get timed out for 60 seconds. But lastly, the super moderators are basically people you can set in the user management that have extra backend capacity to help out the broadcaster. These people can also do things like set game and set title. Okay, let's try editing a command. All the stream elements default commands you can enable and disable at your choosing. You can edit them here. And also, if you were to import any commands from a different bot, they would show up under default commands as well. However, if you did do that, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you've either deleted or disabled that other bot so that it doesn't show up with duplicate messages in the chat. Let's start by editing one of the commands. Let's edit the points command. The points command, like all other default commands, can be edited. For me, maybe I want mine to be titled something more specific to my channel. Mine are called IQ points. You could change the title here to whatever you'd like. Under the user level, we want to be able to select whoever we'd like to be able to use the command. For me, I'd like everybody to use this, but there's also subscribers, regulars, moderators, super moderators, and it's good to know that there's a special one just there for the broadcaster as well. There's also a command cost, which for this, I don't want it to cost anything, but for maybe a giveaway or a song request, you could have the command cost a certain number of points. The user cooldown is per individual user, how many seconds in between they can use the command next, as the global cooldown is for every user in your chat. Command aliases are other things that you want people to be able to type in as a command in the chat that could also pull up the same response. So for me, I'd like people to also be able to use points to show their points in the channel. So let's click submit. Okay, let's use some of the stream elements command templates to make a new command. For example, we could use the love command and edit that. If you want to, you can change the title, just like the last one, so maybe we'll call it hug instead. You could change the user level as well. This one is also great to show the different variables that you could have, and we'll look at the list later. This means that they show a random percent, so it could say 69% possibly. There's 69% love between whoever the sender is and whatever they say. So if I said hug Twitch, it would say there's 100% love between girl versus dumb and Twitch. You could also edit the response and we could say, and lots of hugs. You can also do some of the advanced features on these. You could choose how the bot says the message. They can either say it in chat, which would simply just post it there. They could reply it, which would use a mention, or they could whisper it to the user that says it. The whisper one is actually really great for some of the points commands. I also want to show you one of the cool features called command keywords. So let's say maybe if people are talking in my chat about my PC specs, I want the bot to show it. So let's make a specific command called parts list. It's going to be used by everyone. 
and the response will say GVD is using cool computer parts. Of course, it would actually show some of my parts list, but just for the sake of this video. I'll have it say it in the chat. It won't cost anything. This will be the cooldown. But the cool thing is with the keywords, if I also want to just say it whether or not people use this particular command, exclamation parts list, if they just say parts list in the chat, press enter. If they just say parts list in the chat, it will also give the same response. You could have it happen for multiple ones like gear and notice that you can also put spaces here as well. If I want it to also come up under different command aliases, we could have it as exclamation gear show up as well. Make sure to click enter on those and select submit, and that will now show under our parts list command here as well. Lastly, let's try out some of our variables. Variables basically are little codes that you can type into the commands that stream elements will show as a different thing in the chat. This user variable here will display from stream elements the user's display name in the chat with capitals as shown here. Versus, on the other hand, this one instead would show the lowercase name. I really recommend that you go through the list and check out some of your favorites. It's always here for you in case you ever have any questions. So lastly, let's use some of these variables to set up a new command. I want to do a what's up command, so I'd like the bot to greet me. This will respond with these variables here. So if I said exclamation what's up, the bot would return with hi girl versus dumb and a random emote, maybe an OPOP or a kappa. I could again also change some of the advanced option features, or maybe if I want it to also greet me, if I do exclamation greet, instead of just what's up, that will do the same response. Let's click submit. And lastly, let's look at some of our user management features. These are some of the mods that I have in my channel. You can add moderators here by clicking their username. You can also add super moderators here as well, which again, those people work on the back end of your channel a little bit more. And lastly, if you'd like, you can also add regulars, which are people that are have been in the channel a little bit longer than new users, but aren't subscribers, so that you want to have a still a little special feature for them to be able to use special commands. You can add these guys here as well. And then you'd want to type in their name. So if I wanted myself, I type that and then add. And there you go. All right, guys. So I think that's it for today. Hopefully that was helpful. I hope you guys have a great and fantastic stream. Make sure to check out the links down below for other videos from Stream Elements and also come to the Discord in case you have any questions. Thank you, guys. See you next time.